Meanwhile, the semifinals continue tonight in the New Brunswick AAA Midget League. Last night in Bathurst, the Kings were home to the Moncton Flyers with the eight-point series even at three apiece. With Bathurst up one to nothing in the first, Moncton will draw even as big Luke Betts barrels in and beats Serge Nadeau with the backhand, and it's one apiece heading to the second period, where it will be all Moncton. The Flyers are up 2-1 to one as Scott Richardson takes the return pass from Kevin Cameron for the easy score, and it's 3-1 to one Flyers. A Bathers giveaway will lead to another goal as Betts moves in deep, then centers it to Gabe Wade, who jams it home, making it 4-1. to one. And Wade strikes quickly for another on this blast past Nettos' glove, 5-1 to one Moncton. The Kings do get one back early in the third as Gord Connors rifles it by Dominic Bluin. But the Flyers will again take control as Gabe Wade scores his third straight goal. And that one's followed by four more as Moncton rolls on to a 10-4 win, taking a 5-3 lead in the first to eight-point series. And that one resumes tonight, as does the league's other semifinal with Miramichi at Fredericton. The Midget Canadians lead the Rivermen 4 to nothing in that series. Increase, while Fredericton goalie Steve Johnson's in for a rough welcome from the Flyers. Eight minutes in, Scott Prime makes a great pass to Gabe Wade, then Prime scores off the rebound to make it one nothing Moncton. Five minutes after that, the Flyers attack again as Kevin Cameron sets up Joey Stevens, and it's two to nothing Flyers. Meanwhile, Bluin holds his ground at the other end. Moncton strikes for another just 25 seconds into the second as Cameron beats Johnson's glove to make it 3-0. And the visiting team trend continues as Prime shoots and Gabe Wade pots the rebound. 4-0 Flyers. And that's the end of the line for Johnson, who's replaced by Sean Swanick. That seems to give the midget Habs a lift as Brendan Aretto throws it in front. And number 40, Jason Estabrook finally stuffs it in. And you can cue the comeback. Craig Miller puts a big hit on Owen Malia. And soon after, Will Bellier makes a nice move to set up Joey Harriman for a power play goal. And it's 4-2 Flyers heading to the third, where Harriman saves a goal on a close call. And with 10 minutes to go, Peter Flanagan sets up Bellier, and the Canadians have cut the four-goal deficit to one. Just over a minute later, they'll get a fourth straight goal. And again, it's Bellier breaking in and snapping it past Bluan, tying the score at four and forcing overtime. And that's where the comeback ends as Scott Richardson carries in and blasts it past Swanick's glove, just 58 seconds into sudden death. And the Flyers win at 5-4 to take a four points to two lead in the series with game four tomorrow night at Carroll Arena. Former Flames head coach Bob Francis returns to Harbor Station to trail the eight-point final against Moncton 6-2 as they hosted the Flyers at Nashwaxis Arena. Coach Laurier Fecto and the Flyers are just one win away, but Kevin Pottle's Canadians say not so fast as they open the scoring just 39 seconds in as Eden Welt sends it in front and Peter Flanagan beats Dominic Bluat one to nothing Fredericton. Eight minutes into the game, the Canadians add another, as Welch will be stopped, but Nick Bartlett buries the rebound, and it's 2-0. Eden Welch continues to lead the Midget Habs as he cuts around J.F. Offre and goes forehand on Blue Ham for a beauty, 3-0 Canadians. Moncton does get one back late in the first on a wild goalmouth scramble as Scott Richardson stuffs it in on the wraparound, 3-1 Habs heading for the second. After cutting the Fredericton lead to a goal, the Flyers will quickly tie it on the power play as number 11 Joey Stevens is finally able to get it by Johnson and it's three apiece. The Canadians finally stem the tide as Ben Kennedy scores right off the draw, putting Fredericton back up by a goal. But Moncton answers back again as Alex Surrett deflects it past Johnson and it's four all. To the third now and the Canadians go ahead again. From the corner, Eden Welch sets up Flanagan for a one-timer 5-4 Fredericton. Just a minute 15 later, the Canadians strike again. This time, Jason Esterbrook centers to Brendan Aretto on the doorstep, 6-4 Canadians. But the Flyers claw back again. On the power play, Owen Malia's long shot surprises Johnson. That cuts the Fredericton lead to 6-5. The Flyers have several golden opportunities to score in the dying seconds, but Fredericton holds on to stay alive with a 6-5 win leaving the eight-point series at 6-4 Moncton. Yesterday we had a practice, and after the practice we had a meeting and just discussed what we wanted to do, and 
One of the things was we didn't want to quit. We had to believe in ourselves, and that's what we did, and we came out and fought hard from the first. And the series resumes tomorrow night in Moncton. The New Brunswick High School hockey and in Moncton, the Fredericton Canadians were facing elimination for a second straight game. The Midget Habs trailed the Flyers 6-4, entering Game 6 in the eight-point series. Over 600 packed the Carroll Arena, and the game's tied at one after a period. The Canadians will go ahead early in the second as Will Bellier goes five-hole on Dominic Bluham, making it 2-1 to one, to the delight of the Fredericton supporters. The Midget Habs will go up by two as Bellier stopped, but Phil Lawrence pots the rebound, 3-1 Fredericton. But the Flyers fight back, just like in Game 5. Andrew Sharp shoots, and Ray Geddes is there for the rebound, cutting the Fredericton lead to a goal. Before the second period ends, Moncton will tie it. Luke Betts sends Alex Surratt in alone, and he'll beat Steve Johnson's glove hand, 3 all heading for the third. Where the Habs will quickly regain the lead. Mike Malloy's long shot somehow fools Bluin, and it's 4-3 Fredericton. Soon after, Jason Esterbrook steals it from J.F. Offray at the point. Esterbrook puts on the afterburners and roofs it top shelf, giving Fredericton a 5-3 lead with 13 minutes to go. But the Flyers never say die. Here's a gorgeous effort by Kevin Cameron to beat Ryan Thornton, then Steve Johnson. That makes it 5-4 with nine minutes left. But they can't get another as Fredericton holds on to tie the series at six points each. And Game 7 is tomorrow in Fredericton. Good as Fredericton hosted Moncton Saturday. But it was not to be a repeat of the previous two nail biters, 6-5 and 5-4 wins by the Habs. The final game saw Fredericton quick off the mark, leading 4-1 in the second period. Then the Habs dash any hopes of a Moncton comeback. Brendan Aretto behind the net, out front, his shot, the rebound, and it's in. Jason Estabrook makes it 5-1 Fredericton. Then Peter Flanagan fires one from the blue line. It's stopped, but aggressive forechecking catches Moncton sleeping. Watch this one again. Kevin Cameron takes it a little too easy with the puck. Flanagan comes in, wraps the stick, and it's behind the goalie. Flanagan makes it 6-1 for the Habs. Moncton gets one more on this give and go. Back to Fillmore, he feeds it to Betts who risks it past Johnson. 6-2. There were more chances. One shot, two shot, puck over a stick and watch this. Kennedy to the rescue as he blocks it. At the other end, it's Philip and Lawrence coming out with a backhand. Steve McGillivray makes the save, but then a beautiful pad block on this one. However, with the final flick of the puck, the game is over and the Fredericton Bolden Canadians are the midget triple-A champs. The Habs are now off to the Atlantic Midget Tourney this week in Grand Falls, Newfoundland.